either this is 100% about black supremacy or there's nothing absolutely to this at all. In all manners of your endeavors, either I'm helping move individuals, situations, and circumstances further towards black supremacy, or I'm not. What ego am I building? Sister called in a few nights ago on the show, and she said, you know, I want to find a man. You know, I need a man. I'm single. I'm a single parent. And I need, I need, I need a, a man to, to come into my life and help me and be a part of my life in this walk. No, you have to be selfish in your devotion to black supremacy. In your devotion to black supremacy, somebody will show up in that devotion. A black supremacist cannot be any of these uh, ideas, roles, or positions that have been constructed by the matrix in a white society. A black supremacist couldn't be any of them. You can't be a parent to a black supremacist. You can't be a child in this society. You must be a black supremacist. You can't be an adult in this society. You must be a black supremacist. You can't be a wife in this society. You must be a black supremacist. You can't be a husband in this society. You must be a black supremacist. It's nothing that you can be in a society that needs black supremacy as its ultimate solution other than the black supremacists. Otherwise, these other roles that are created that fortify and support the maintenance of this white supremacist society will pull your energy into them. If you can hold on to any of them, it is but secular. The main focus in meditation must be black supremacy. Your consciousness is the only thing solid and the only thing real in an unchanging, I mean, in a changing, liquid, completely flexible, malleable reality. Your consciousness is the only thing that's solid. None of these attachments. And what is your consciousness solid on? Is it solid on being a reactionary of putting out fires, of seeking validation from a, a world whose even its social construct and its social ideas are changing before us? You're seeking validation from a world that has already died. Validate yourself. We were trying to get valid, validated, you know, from a world that was a Protestant Christian world that was dealing with heterosexual marriage and you know, be fruitful and multiply. Now we live in a world where homosexuals have taken over the world. So the world that you once seek to be validated with, validated by is now attacking you for being very uh, solid on your heterosexual values. So the world that you're seeking, you know, a value from, that world is dying. It's an illusion. It's temporal. You sought a world where you wanted to be a good husband and, and, but you, you, have, you find a world where it's filled with feminism and independent black women. They, they, that your, your, your desire to be a husband is now an invasion, you know, it's an invasion of the woman's independence because the social construct of the matrix has changed. So the world that you sought values in, you want it to be a father where now uh, a man beats his daughter for doing twerk videos is arrested. He can't even be a father to determine the destiny of his own household. So even a, that's, that's outlawed now. So everything that you sought and did to be validated for by yesterday, that world is changing. It's not even the same. Ten years from now, everything that you did to validate yourself will be anti-society. Society will be against that. So you don't have to try to keep form-fitting and checking the temperature to see what's going on out there. I'm telling you, the weather's changing like crazy. The, meteor the meteorologists don't know what the hell is going on. He don't know what, what weather is going to be you know, tomorrow or next day. The, the, the numbers he got may be wrong. I'm telling you that these manner of trying to validate yourself in different roles in society is an illusion. It's, illus it's an illusion. You're seeking social acceptance. You're seeking to be validated by a world that is not even consistent, that is contradictive, that is immoral, amoral. This is the real world that you live in, and you want validation by that. I see why you're confused. I'm telling you to stop seeking validation from that world of chaotic illusion. There will be no novus order succorum or order out of that chaos. It is nothing but absolute chaos. Stop seeking validation out of that world. I'm telling you now you need to input and you need to bring to the table black supremacy. Stop looking for what's going on. I'm telling you what's going on, confusion and constant change that seems to somehow maintain white supremacy. The white man, I, I say this all the time, he's not even about morality. 
is not even about morality when in certain states that bestiality is legal but homosexuality is illegal. How is he about morality? In the same state, bestiality is legal, but homosexuality is illegal. It's not about morality. It's about the white man always making up new laws and even doing things opposite and contrast to how he had things, being abnormal to the way he set things up to prove to let you know, hey, I'm, I'm the one that is continuously in power. That's what he does with everything he do. He, he legalizes marijuana. I talk to all of our cousins, nephews, our family members, our relatives. They got life sentences and sentences that are almost uh, irreversible. And then he locks everybody up, make money off of, of, of it, holds his chest up high, pulls his britches up high. Then he goes and changes the laws and says, you know what, marijuana is legal now. It's not about how evil, destructive, or toxic marijuana is. It is about making sure that the white man is always in check. He makes radical shifts and changes in society to let you, to remind you that I'm in power. I'm the one in power. Don't you start believing in laws and the technicalities of the laws and the, the old morality that I created yesterday. Don't you start believing that. Because I'm the one in power and I can make change anytime I want to. So you think you're in a dem democratic legislative world where the collective of that the collective comes up with these ideas, right? And somehow these ideas are put into legislation that represent everybody and that you can kind of cling to the law. But the white man lets you know, hey, it ain't about the law. It's about what I decide to do. And it's not even, hell, it's not even about morality. Even though I force you to read the Bible and force you to accept Christianity, it's just about what the hell I want to do and the fact that I'm the one to do it and I'm the one to rule. Bottom line at the end of the day. So stop seeking to be validated by your enemy's world with these different roles that he has said are good in this society or that this is valuable or this is a good person and this is an auspicious, you know, auspicious position to pay and I better do that and I got to do that and this is the definite way to exist in society. You don't need that anymore. That's bullshit. When you get a Ph.D. and then you end up homeless, If you get a Ph.D. and you end up homeless, and then you want to, you say, well, hell, I went to school to be validated, and I got my accreditations. I'm a good student. You know, I'm a, I got a good job. I'm a good student. I went to school. I did what I was told. And then they tell you that, hey, you're homeless now. So what? I fought for my country, and hell, I'm a veteran. You know, I'm a, I'm a, I, I'm a, I fought for this country for my rights and my liberties, and hell, you're homeless on the streets. Nobody cares. Stop, black man, black woman, stop trying to be validated by this society in any way and selfishly devote yourself to black supremacy. Stop devoting yourself to all these white man's concepts and ideologies, social ideas. Let them all go. You don't need any of them, not one of them. Let each and every one of them go and put, move, take everything off of the table and put black supremacy on that table and focus on that and stop clouding up that table. You say, well, black supremacy is at the center, but damn it, we can't see it because you've clouded the goddamn table up with all this other ego bullshit that the white man manipulates in order to stay in power. That's a fact. And anything you have in society... It should be only validated by that it's a black it's black supremacy. It can't be a marriage if it's not a black supremacist marriage. It's no marriage at all. You can't be a, a parent if it's not a black supremacy parent, and it's not really parent at all. Because how can you be a parent when you're the child of white men's society and institutions and laws and regulations and ways? How could you? You're not the parent. You're a representative of the parent. The parent is a state, is a corporation, right? The parent is the media who controls the media. The parents are the Illuminati, the bankers, the Jews. Those are the parents. You just you just uh, represent them. You just help you you just help keep their investments in order to make sure that they come they turn out money for the society. So unless you are black supremacists, anything you're nothing. And if whatever you are is, doesn't wholeheartedly and absolutely support bringing in and ushering in total absolute reality of black supremacy, then you need to let that go easily no matter what it is. You need to let it go. You need to start being selfish 
in your black supremacy, selfish with your black supremacy when it comes to everything else. If it doesn't build black supremacy, it is, you you, you got to take your energy away from it. You have to, and that's going to be hard for a lot of people because, like I said, you get a lot of ego validation from all of these other roles that you've played in society. Whatever these roles are, whatever these issues are that you've become a part of these issue groups, there's about 10,000 issues, and black supremacy is just another one of those issues. You've got to get rid of all of them, become selfish, and not share them with any of these other groups if you want it to happen. If you really want to see it happen in your life, in your reality, you manifest in this time, you've got to become that serious. And I'm here to tell you that black supremacy can manifest in your life. It's not something that we just, we got to change every person in the world and the whole world has to change. That's the ultimate idea that's going to happen. But you can see black supremacy happen in your life through your devotion. You can see black rulership happen in your life right now. You can see situations and circumstances change around you that represent black rulership manifesting in your very own life. But you got to make the decision. you got to make the, the changes. And you got to be wholeheartedly devoted, and you got to take all the other bullshit off the table and stop being validated by stuff that don't validate black supremacy. you got to let it all go. Some for some, that's starting all over. And be wholehearted. Don't let nothing stop you. And uh, And, um... Unfortunately, it's not going to be black supremacy. It's not going to be that we all come together and hold hands and sing, we shall overcome. Hell, we won't even all come together and be singing black supremacy. We'll be come together situated and seated in our total and absolute devotion to black supremacy. We won't need to hold hands. There's no codependency in black supremacy. It's only being 100% solid and 100% devoted. And if somebody's on something else, you're not heartbroken or broken down or because somebody makes another decision or goes in another direction because their family, mate, relative, cousin, nephew, niece, uncle, children, whoever, your devotion is unshaken because you know the illusion that this world is under. You know the matrix that this world is under. So it doesn't surprise you that propaganda that's pushed out all day to push black inferiority and white supremacy that is somehow going to escape all the people you know and that they're not going to choose somehow to be under white supremacy versus being totally wholeheartedly with black supremacy. You shouldn't be surprised. So your devotion should not be shaken. But when your devotion becomes stronger, you will shake some of these weak relationships. You will shake off some of this unsincerity that you find and know that are amongst you. You will shake it off. And you won't be able to serve two masters. You won't be able to serve white supremacy and black and black supremacy. You have to hate one and love the other. You have to hate white supremacy and love black supremacy. You can't serve them both. You can't do them both. You can't do white supremacy in a black way. And you can't do black supremacy and hold on to the white the white man, the white the white man's world, the white man's way of life. It's impossible. And you're gonna to have to make that decision. And you can argue with me and argue it out in your mind, and you can deceptively rationalize, but at the end of the day. You know what you're up against and what you're dealing with and how serious and devoted that you're going to have to be. And it's it's going to be a hard one. It's going to be a very difficult one. But when you make it, it will be the most powerful decision that you ever made and the most effective use of your energy to bring about and be the black supremacy that you want to see manifest. That's a fact. 